Welcome to new episode of Space Science series. Today's episode is gravitational waves. In this episode, we are going to understand Einstein's concept of gravity and how it overcomes limitations of Newton's theory of gravitation. What the gravitational wave is and how it discovered. We will also understand how gravitational waves differ from gravitational force. Gravitational force is just a disclosure of space-time curve. Means gravitational field bends space-time curve and that bending shows existence of gravitational field. More the gravitational field intensity, more is the bending of space-time curve. Means more the mass of the object, more is the bending of space-time curve and more distant will be the effect of gravity. This is concept of gravity according to Einstein's general theory of relativity. Here is the answer of Newton's question that without a medium how gravitational force acts between two objects. In gravitational field of one object, other object will feel gravity because of bending of space-time curve by first object. This can be experienced by a simple experiment. If a massive object is placed on a stretched bedsheet, then the object bends that bedsheet. Curve can be seen clearly on the bedsheet. If an object have to travel between any two points on the bedsheet, then object must cover more distance when bedsheet is curved than the distance when there is no curve. All the planets are in motion like the object in previous example. Even if there is no any medium between earth and sun, still gravitational force of sun affects on earth because of the bending of space-time curve. This effect is not instantaneous but travels with the speed of light. For understanding this, consider sun gets disappear from its place right now. Then because of this thing, earth will leave the orbit of sun and starts to travel straight in space not immediately but after 500 seconds. Einstein given concept of space-time curve which makes us understand gravity. Einstein's theory calculated exact precision of planet Mercury which is 575 minutes per 100 years. Einstein's theory overcame all the limitations of Newton's theory. Space-time curve is active because of energy and mass which gives motion to the objects like planets, stars and galaxies and its overall effect is the observable universe which is continuously expanding. In 1916, Einstein proposed existence of gravitational waves, but in upcoming some decades, scientists couldn't prove mathematical accuracy of gravitational waves. In 1936, Einstein announced that gravitational waves cannot be in existence. But after some decades, Einstein's this conclusion is proven wrong. Scientists got indirect proof of existence of gravitational waves in 1974, that is, after 20 years of death of Einstein. Gravitational waves were observed first in 2016 with the help of LIGO, that is in Laser Interferometric Gravitational Wave Observatory. Gravitational waves are different from electromagnetic waves. The parameters of electromagnetic waves are changes with space and time, but gravitational waves become more complicated with space and time. Because gravitational field changes with space time and itself gravity decides bending of space time curve. That's why changes in gravitational field are actual or they are just a difference because of methods of measuring space-time. This thing took a lot of time of scientists to prove gravitational waves. Gravitational waves travel with the same speed of light. The wavelength of gravitational waves varies from few kilometers to 10 raised to 21 kilometers. Gravitational waves can be polarized and diffracted. But like electromagnetic waves, they cannot be absorbed or refracted by anything in the medium. Gravitational waves are so weak as compared to electromagnetic waves. That's why they are very difficult to detect. The objects around us are also emitting weak gravitational waves as the gravitational field created by them is negligible. Even if we take into consideration objects like planets and stars like our sun which has enough gravitational field Still, the gravitational waves emitted by the sun are very weak and they are out of our observational limits. For the study of gravitational waves, we are dependent on the massive objects like neutron stars and black holes. Neutron stars are the final phases of stars having mass 8 to 25 times larger than sun 
and the black holes are the final phases of stars having mass larger than 25 times of sun. Binary neutron stars, binary black holes, etc. are also the sources of gravitational waves. GW150914 is the name of first observed gravitational wave. GW stands for the gravitational waves and the subsequent digits are showing on which date they observed. These waves were emerged from binary black hole system when they were fusing together. This object was 13.4 billion light years away from us. Means they were fused together before 13.4 billion years and the gravitational waves emerged from that incident reached to earth in 2015. The mass of two black holes were 36 and 29 times the mass of sun respectively. Black hole created after their fusion was having mass 62 times the mass of sun. The mass of created black hole is less than the addition of mass of two black holes before fusion. Mass of three times the mass of sun is converted into energy according to Einstein's mass energy equivalence principle. As after and before fusion black holes were there, so there was no chance of emission of energy in the form of light. Therefore, all the emitted energy was in the form of gravitational waves. This full energy was emitted within a while which was equal to the energy emitted by star having mass 200 times greater than the sun. Till the end of June 2019, such 25 gravitational wave incidents are observed. That's all for today's episode. I hope you found it to be informative. If you have anything to ask, please comment below. Thanks for watching.